about so big, about so small, about this length, about this width, about this flow, about this gift. Instinct leading me right up your alleyway. Welcome back or welcome to the channel if you're new. It's Sahara. So today ah, I'm, in, I'm in front of my new background. If you did not take these sunglasses off right quick, we in the house. We don't need them. I just put them on for show. <laughs> Let's keep it real. We all just put sunglasses on for show when you in the house. If you did not see in my previous video, which I will link it, probably put it in the cards above, I did do a vlog. I showed you guys where I fixed up my background. But yeah, besides that, because that's not what today's video is about. Today's video, we are going to be doing like makeup and skincare that lasts through the spring, especially for those of you guys out there who are going on spring break now, maybe you're going to a different state. I know a lot of people go to Miami, Florida, which who want to go to Florida? <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips. Do not mind right around here. I tried to go for a more spring appropriate look, you know, yellow blush. Also some, um, I said some. No, a lot of freckles. Let me show you guys real quick. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to apply as many freckles as I did. I got carried away with that stuff that I got from the Dollar Tree. These freckles and then my bangs. Anyway, <laughs> let's get started on this video. I'm just gonna keep you guys zoomed in like this. I think right here, yeah, I think right here is fine. You're gonna need some storage to put your stuff in. For this bag that I would put makeup and skincare in, this is the bag that I got from Shein. Yeah, I think it was Shein. You can hold it right like this. Once you open it, you can lay it flat. And there's so much room. Again, I do have a video on this product. This one right here, I also just recently got from Shein. I use it for pads, tampons, panty liners, wipes, and things like that. So I put mostly like body skincare in here. Not all because I have a hygiene routine <laughs> on my channel. So I just wanted to focus on some newer bits and pieces. Not mentioning brows because I don't do anything special for brows. I just put on um, my brow pencil and that's pretty much it. But there are products out there for that specific purpose, so you can go find them. <laughs> Eyeshadow primer, I would keep it simple and just wear a concealer. I've mentioned these before, but I still stand by these. If we're going for more like drugstore, the Wet n Wild Incogn Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer, it's more of like a matte finish, but it's not too matte to the point where it's too drying for dry skin. So I actually use this to prime the eyelids with. You could just bring um, one or the other. I use the Black Radiance True complexion long wear concealer this one is really good I think this is the lightest shade and then I also use the Laura Mercier ultra fusion well fu flawless fusion ultra long wear concealer under the eyes as well two drugstore options to uh, or one high-end option that's not too expensive for eyeshadow, it's just going to depend on what look you're going for. I've said that before. But something that I would recommend that you bring is a lash glue liner. Something that's two in one. A liner, and it also doubles as lash glue. So you don't have to bring liner, which I would still bring the liner. Um, my favorite one is, of course, the Tom Ford one. I use it all the time to apply my beauty marks, which is what I did. You can use it to stick down your lashes. For lashes, I'm just wearing one of the Ioni ones. But like I said in one of my other travel videos, I would definitely recommend bringing a travel case for your lashes. So you can bring in any lashes that you want to put in there. I did get two of them from the Dollar Tree. They are lash cases. And I think the Dollar Tree just brought them back with a different design. So go and pick them up at the Dollar Tree and you can fit about three pairs of lashes in there. You could bring dramatic, you could bring simple, you could bring wing, anything. Period. <laughs> For mascara, of course, I would recommend bringing a travel size one. Just one that I'm using right now is the Milk Makeup one. I'm trying to use it up because like I've mentioned before, Milk Makeup products do not last. They expire very quick, so I'm just trying to use this up. So, you know, bring a makeup that expires quick that you want to get rid of on like vacation or something like that. But a mini size is good. I also feel like mini size mascaras apply better on the lashes anyway because you can get closer to the root. So, yeah. Look makeup. Something else that can double as a two-in-one. I actually today you're not gonna be able to see it because it's kind of a little bit more like a skin tone color, but it's also still a little brown. I think if I applied like eyeshadow on the lower lash line, this probably would have stuck out a little bit more. This is the About Face Matte Fix Lip Pencil in the shade Clockwork, a yellow 
undertone type of nude beige lip liner but it's way too drying as lip liner so I just applied it as waterline as eyeliner in a waterline moving on to the face because the base has definitely become my favorite ever since finding these three products I use these almost all the time well not all the time because I don't apply makeup all the time you guys know that by now but you know when I apply makeup I'm applying these primers like I have other primers but these three right here it. E Pure Essentially Ageless Blur Face Primer from the Dollar Tree, Dollar 25. Really good for blurring the pore area right here, especially if you have large pores. It also mattifies without drying, so it's really good for dry skin. Again, it's essentially ageless, so it's more for mature skin anyway, so you know that it's not going to be drying. If you still haven't bought it after my recommendations, what are you doing? <laughs> the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the Elf Power Grip. I don't know why I said these together, but they look similar because of the packaging, the color. It's kind of just like a similarity to the Be Pure Essentially Ageless. So it's mattifying, it's poreless. I do feel like this one is a little bit more blurring though. I think because it focuses on being blurring versus this one that's like matte poreless mattifying primer plus sunscreen so it does include broad spectrum spf 20 so if you need some sunscreen and you don't feel like bringing sunscreen just bring makeup products that include sunscreen so this is like a two-in-one and then you have the power grip primer so this is also good if you have dry skin because i have dry skin around here and it doesn't cling to dry skin to dry patches the milk makeup one when I tried to sample it did cling to dry patches and I asked the girl at Sephora about that she said yeah it can do that if you have dry skin but this one it does not do that for dry skin so you know just search around what products work for you what products don't it also helps make your makeup last longer because it grips on the makeup now for foundation I don't specifically oh dang I forgot to bring the other foundation I've showed it a million times so I'm not even gonna worry about it for today I actually apply the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation. I have not used this one in a long time. <laughs> I have not used this one in a long time, so that's why I decided to pull it out. Oh, it's getting hot in here. If I was going somewhere, I would probably just do my routine that I've done on my channel a couple of times. Spot conceals. I personally have been using the Marc Jacobs concealer because it's a thick concealer. If you have the NARS concealer, whatever kind of pot you concealer you have or concealer in a pot, then I would recommend spot concealing and then just going on top with a powder foundation. Powder foundations are more wearable in the summertime than liquid foundations. You can also go with it in with a skin tint, but that may not last. Right here, I just have the Juvia's Place powder foundation because I forgot to grab the Maybelline one. So I would just recommend something like that. And because it's a powder, it's going to last through the hot weather versus an actual foundation that just feels too heavy, start separating, you start getting oily quicker. Now I do feel like out of every dewy luminous radiant type of foundation that i have this juvia's place it stays like a soft semi matte longer than any other type of like non matte foundation i actually and the funniest thing is i was just mentioning this powder in my other video i was like it's not as drying as i remember oh yeah now i remember why i said it was i went back to the kvd lock it setting powder this is in the shade translucent I use more than I've been using in my past videos. I use my powder puff, where's my powder puff? Oh, to set and it was so dry. I had to use the spray, which I haven't used the setting spray in a minute. I would just recommend any powder that you want, but just one of these little sample travel size ones. They have a lot of them at Sephora and I think a couple of them at Ulta. Did I say powder without even going into the cream products? <sighs> uh, pretend I did cream first. For cream, bronzer, and blush, I would definitely recommend the e.l.f. putty ones. These ones have a matte finish so they're gonna last longer because cream products they are the first especially blush to kind of disappear on the skin I applied it on the skin today I tried to go for a more simple look but here's where I ended up <laughs> after that I did go in with powder bronzer and actually for today I used this Juvia's place one this is the bronze duo in the shade medium and this has a yellow tone bronzer and a red tone I did use the red tone on my face today 
for the camera to adjust <laughs> and I use the yellow one as like blush after I use that cream orange blush and you guys see how it gave me this nice bronze sun kiss type of look I love this look especially in the spring and summertime it just looks so good going across the nose like this it looked like when you had sunglasses on and you got a tan right here and then of course I put my freckles the color freckle pin in the shade dark brown from the Dollar Tree on top and that's why I ended up with so many freckles <laughs> for highlighter I just applied the milk makeup one just quickly and then to set everything because again my face got super super powdery the Milani make it last another thing that I would recommend that I've been doing for a while too is after I apply primer I'll apply a setting spray to lock the primers in if you need to touch up then I would recommend a powder like this this is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Blurring Eye Powder in a shade yellow. It does not do a good job at setting. It creases so bad and it sets certain parts. You know, if I have a lot of creasing under my eyes, some of it will be set while the other will still be kind of tacky. So I don't like this to set, but again, if you need to touch up in areas where you're getting oily. And these types of pressed powders do not have coverage the way the powder foundation, like the one from Juvia's Place does. This has coverage, this does not. So this is great for setting and this is great for touching up. And it's a small size, so great for travel too, unless it breaks. Just to quickly do the lips, just in case you want to know what I did apply because it looks so good. This lip combo, I really love this. I went in with the She Glam X Willy Wonka lip liner and it's the darkest brown. So you can go in with any brown. On top of that, I went in with the About Face Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nudish Judas. It's a similar color to the um, eyeliner, well, lip liner <laughs> that I applied, but it is a little bit darker. I went on top of it with the Juvia's Place Nubian Earth Lip lipstick in the shade Nubian Sand because this will brighten it. For the lip gloss, I went in with the Willy Wonka X She Glam in the shade Brownie Bite, which is a nice little yellow tone. For around the lips, because you don't want to apply your color lips all over the lips, you want to apply these focusing it in the center and then apply a clear lip gloss around the lip liner. So I went in with the Fenty Beauty in the shade Glass Slipper. That pretty much completed my look today. So again, for skin, it's all in here. This is not everything. If you want to know body wash, deodorant, all that stuff, again, I do have a hygiene routine. The Black Girl Sunscreen, this is like a smaller version of their tall one. The reason that I'm mentioning this one is because if you have medium to deeper skin tones, it can be very hard to find a sunscreen that does not leave a cast, and this one won't. Now, I have been hearing a lot of people that use this product say that they don't use it on a face just in case it clogs pores they use like a skincare sunscreen and then this more so on the neck and the body but I would still recommend for the fact that it doesn't leave any cast power stick anti chafe I mentioned this before I got it at the Dollar Tree haven't seen it in a long time but it's by the brand power stick and I have another power stick product that I'm gonna mention I never used to pay this brand any attention but I'm gonna have to start seeing what they have because they got some good stuff so if you have thick thighs like mine they don't always save lives it does have like a peppermint scent because it's with aloe vera peppermint and tea tree oil another product that's at the Dollar Tree that I would recommend power stick so I did also mention this in my blog body spray for her Brazilian mist with notes of pistachio and salted caramel it is a dupe for the boom boom cream by Sol de Janeiro it is really strong like I mean it's really strong and it does smell like a little bit more on the oilier side and then I looked in the ingredients and it says that it does have a little bit of castor oil in so that's why I was like why does it kind of smell a little oily it started giving me a headache but spray a little a little goes a very long way like it will smell all the way down the aisle <laughs> last product that I actually got from the Dollar Tree this is the Bolero hydrating foot scrub in the scent coconut milk and lavender they do have some other products Products from this line like they have body wash lotion but I don't go too too cheap when it comes to body wash and lotion because I don't know if it's gonna break me out how my skin is gonna react but this is a foot scrub so if you need to do a little at home skincare if you need it on the go as well because the bottle is small and everything I showed you so far was in this bag so you can fit it but this right here also smells really good as well because again it has coconut milk and lavender they also had some different scents and this scrub is really good because it has the um, 
gritty texture in there. Last two products I have are like lotion. My little Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream in here. I did transfer it into this little one because I'm all out of my big little $50 one. Before I do buy another one, I'm going to be trying out some lotion from another brand. Regardless, like I said a thousand times, I would still recommend the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. It's one of my favorite, probably my all-time favorite lotion body cream that I've ever had. The scent is so delicious. Like everything about it is amazing. EOS, they do have this hand cream, two different scents at Walmart and Target, and they had like three or four different scents. If you have a pop store, I think that's what it's called, something like that. They have different scents. This one is the Vanilla Cashmere, and it smells so good, so moisturizing. Once I'm all out of that and the other lotion I've been using, I'm gonna be trying the lotions from EOS. Now, I've been seeing so many of those hygiene routines shop with me at Target. I'm gonna do my own little one. And I'm going to be buying a couple of those lotions, just seeing how they are because they smell so good. If I like them, I might continue to use them. If I don't like how they feel, then I'm just going to go back to my little expensive Sol de Janeiro. The only downside I would say to this is that when you first apply it, it smells like that vanilla cashmere, a nice warm vanilla creamy scent. But then after a while, like after you blend it, like, blend it after it soaks into your hand it starts smelling more like shea butter which i'm not into those shea butter what is that cocoa butter and all that stuff i'm not into those scents but that's kind of like what it smells like so i'm like if the lotion does that to me i'm not like i'm not even going back to it but anyway that is it i hope you guys enjoy it please don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>